Hey, what's going on, Pisces? Butch Tarot here. I'm going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. And I'm going to be using uh, the Light Seer Tarot. With all that being said, let's get it. And here's what's going on for Pisces. What message do we have for Pisces? All right, Pisces, so the first thing I see is I feel like I'm getting some new energy. You know, I feel like there is someone new coming in. Now with this person, the first thing that I get is I feel like, I feel like this person is, is dealing with a lot. You know, they have too much on their plate. And I feel like there has been some recent heartbreak for this person. And I feel like that's part of what they're dealing with. You know, I, I, what I feel is it, it's like they're not so much dealing with the heartache of losing a person. It's more like the heartache of trusting the wrong person. You know, sometimes we don't realize we're making mistakes until it's too late. And I feel like with this past person in this person's life, I feel like they made a mistake and they, they, they should have known better. And it's almost like they're, they're heartbroken because they didn't see it coming when they know they should have. You know, and I feel like this person, like I said, is dealing with a lot. You know, they're, they got too much on their plate. But I feel like the moment they, you know, the moment they meet you, there's these, something's changed. You know, I feel like usually because of, with this heartbreak, I don't feel like it's recent. I feel like it's something that they've been holding on to and having a hard time letting that go with that two of pentacles. You know, still holding on to more than they need to. Um, but then we have the eight of swords in reverse and the nine of swords in reverse. I feel like meeting you is exactly what they they needed. It's exactly what they've been wanting. You know, they didn't expect to meet you, but yet it's something that they're not willing to walk away from. And it's not because of the physical. There is physical attraction. It's not because of that. It's There's something about you that just makes them feel safe. You know, we have that Nine of Swords in reverse not feeling that anxiety anymore, not feeling like you're alone. You know, this person, I, I, I do feel like they struggle with the fact that they thought they were alone. 
You know, they made some wrong choices in the past and they got hurt for it. And it's something they should have saw coming. And that's what's really bugging them about it. You know, so it almost feel like they were, you know, they had this self-imposed prison till I met you. And then we have that Eight of Swords in reverse. It's almost like the wall fell down. But there's definitely something much, much deeper between the two of you than they expected. You know, usually this person, I, I feel like, like I said, I feel like their walls are up. They're very protective of themselves. You know, self-preservation. But with you, they don't feel that need to be defensive. It's quite the opposite. They feel like being open with you is just natural. Being able to talk to you, being able to be around you, just being in your presence... I mean, it's this huge release. You know, it's like if you've ever felt like you're completely alone and then you met someone else. You know, it's like you're on a planet all by yourself. You never thought you'd find another person and that one day you meet them. You come across this person and not only do you meet this person, but this person is exactly like you. Or at least they make you feel very comfortable. It's like you're in the same realm. And you don't, trust me, you're, you don't know how long they've been waiting for you. They've been waiting for that other person to arrive on their desolate planet. And I feel like, Pisces, I feel like you can really relate to this. Because sometimes I know, Pisces that I know, sometimes they feel very alone. You know, it's not about being with someone that ha holding your hand. It's not about someone to be in, laying in bed with somebody. It's not about the sexual act. It's about actually meeting someone that connects. Now with this person, like I said, there is no sense of defensiveness. They don't have to feel defend, that they have to defend themselves. They don't have to protect themselves from you. That's not what they feel. It, and like I said, quite the opposite. I mean, we have the Knight of Pentacles. They feel like they can trust you very early on. You know, from the very beginning, they feel this sense of everything's going to be okay. You know, I finally found them. And all that shit that happened to them before, it just kind of melts away. Like I said, that, ang that anxious energy melts away. The wall that they build up around themselves is falling down. Now with this person, you know, they find themselves thinking about when you, thinking about you when you're not around with that four of cups, thinking about you and only you. Like I said, on this lonely planet that they feel like they were on, there is only you and them. You know, this connection. This goes very deep. In a very good way. Like I said, they know, they, they knew from the moment they met you. That there was nothing stopping them from falling. Now, with this person... Trust me when I say this, this person is not looking for something casual. You know, this person is not looking for something meaningless. They're looking for a deep connection, someone that they can connect with on a, on a deeper level than just the physical, than just the mental. It goes much deeper than that. They have a lot of love to give and they, they've never found anyone that they could give that to. Now with this person, like I said, they're going to be very honest with you. You know, no hidden agendas. Bluntly honest. They're going to come right out and say how they feel. You're not going to have to wonder how this person feels. They're going to be honest with you. They're going to be direct with you. They don't want any mixed messages. 
They don't want any confusion. They're going to be very clear of how they feel. And like I said, very, I mean, this person, they think about you when you're not around. They've been fantasizing about someone like you. And now that they met you, they know that all roads led them here. They know they're exactly where they belong. And that's why they're going to be honest with you. Because you're the only person they can talk to. You're the only person they can open up to. Now, like I said, they've made a lot of mistakes. Falling for you is not going to be one of them. I mean, we have the Ace of Cups. So, I, like I said, I, I, this is happening very quickly. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. That family card. This person is looking for that long-term connection. Something that they never thought they'd find. But now that they found it, they're not going to want to let it go. You know, they're going to give you everything. You know, starting with, you know, honesty and loyalty and love, passion. They've been saving it all up for the right person. And we have the Nine of Cups, which stuck to my arm, but whatever. <laughs> you know, this person's going to want to fill your cups up. You know, this person's going to want to make you happy. And like I said, this person's been saving it all up. And it is going to come out quite overwhelming, but like I said, this is the bond they feel exactly where they need it to be, exactly where they should be. With that Two of Cups, they feel this bond is something that it, it's not just a momentary thing. I feel like the, the bond here is a lifelong bond built on trust. And loyalty. You know. And, it, and it's it doesn't. It started in the very beginning. Like I said. I mean. I, with that devil card. I feel like it, there's this huge release when they met you. You know. They feel like they're finally where they're meant to be. And they're fi finally where they should be. They're finally where they want it to be. The depths of this. It continues to get deeper as we go. Like I said, this person's gonna be very honest. When things are bugging them, they they want someone they can be honest with. They want someone that can take their honesty, and they believe that's you. They're gonna tell you shit that you may not even want to hear. But that's how far that honesty goes. You know, this is something they're gonna nurture. They're going to protect. That feeling of home is not something you get every day. When they felt it with you, like I said, that caused them to fall. And they're okay with that. They're falling fast and hard. And like I said, the depths of this, it only gets deeper as we go. You know, I feel like that physical connection is going to be amazing. That mental connection is going to be amazing. That emotional connection connection is going to be just off the charts. You know, very nurturing, very emotionally mature, very safe. Like I said, I mean, the foundation's being laid here. And I feel like we're building something strong. Stronger than we've ever felt before. And I feel like very early on, you're going to feel that as well. You know, falling fast and hard is not a bad thing when it's for the right person. You know, I feel like this person's always been kind of safe. You know, self-preservation, like I said, because of the heartache they served, they they suffered before. 
they know what heartache feels like. They know what the wrong thing feels like. And now they know what the right thing feels like. They've been waiting for you for a long time. They've been fantasizing about you. And now you're here in the real world, in the physical form in front of them. They're not gonna let that go. They will fight for it. Like I said, that defensive energy they have, you just melted away. I mean, with this, we have all signs. I mean, we have We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. I mean, we have the complete package. Like I said, I mean, we're not... Sometimes when we get with people, we're kind of sacrificing one thing for another. You know what happens? Sometimes we find someone that we have a great physical connection with, but we sacrifice the emotional. Or we have an emotional and physical connection with someone, but we sacrifice the mental connection. But with this, we don't have to sacrifice anything. Like I said, they're not looking for something short term. They're not looking for something casual. They're not coming to you for any of that. And it's not even a, a time frame for them. It's just that they want to be with you. You know, they needed you. Now they want you. I mean, they need you as much as they want you. They'll be there for you. You know, they'll show up for you. They'll put in the work for you. Because they understand the importance of you. You know, it happens a lot in life. We meet people. And yeah, and I've said this a million times before, but I'm going to say it again. You know, sometimes think of it as a, a checklist of 10 things that you need from somebody else. And sometimes you'll meet someone that'll have eight. And that's great, but it's not 10. Sometimes we stick it out with people that are three or five. But we'll always long for that other seven or five you know a three or five and eight it's not going to be long term some will last longer than others obviously because they have more that they're giving us but when you find that 10 out of 10 you don't feel like you're losing anything you're not sacrificing the other whatever percentage you're getting it all in one place You know, it's, it's such, it's, it's opening up a big can of worms when I talk about that, because there's so many things out there. But if you're not getting everything you want from a person, and you truly don't believe that you could, then you already know the answer of whether or not that's the person for you. And sometimes we, we, we choose people that don't give us everything because it's safe, it's comfortable, until it becomes not safe not comfortable that's what i have for you be good take care stay safe